Before we start, let's look at the relationship between the oven control, the igniter, and the safety valve. For safety reasons, it is necessary to have something near the burner that is hot enough, above 1100 degrees Fahrenheit, to ignite the gas whenever the gas is being applied to the burner. Over the years, we have used standing pilots, spark igniters, and today we use the silicon carbide igniter. Burner systems that use these igniters are 120 volt series circuits. They are made up of a control that opens and closes the circuit, an igniter that decreases in resistance as it heats up, and a current sensing valve. In any series circuit, the total resistance divided into the applied voltage determines the current flowing in the circuit. The gas safety valve is designed to open only when the current flowing through it is 3.2 amps or higher. When current flows through silicon carbide material, two things happen. The material heats up and the resistance of the material goes down. In other words, the material changes resistance with heat. The resistance of an oven igniter at room temperature may vary from 200 to 500 ohms. If the total resistance of the igniter and valve is 240 ohms, we can see that our current flow is one half amp, far short of the 3.2 amps necessary to open the valve. Now for the current flow in the circuit to reach the 3.2 amps necessary to open the valve, the total resistance of the circuit must be around 37 ohms. The only thing in the circuit that can change in resistance is the igniter, and it must heat up to do it. When 120 volts is applied to the igniter valve circuit, the temperature of the igniter reaches 1800 degrees Fahrenheit within 15 to 30 seconds, and its resistance is lowered to around 35 ohms. At 35 ohms, the current is 3.2 amps and the safety valve opens, allowing gas flow and ignition. One of the biggest mistakes made when troubleshooting a gas oven circuit is to observe the oven igniter glowing and automatically assume it's working correctly but igniters sometimes wear out slowly. And it's impossible to tell the difference between the glow of a worn igniter at 1400 degrees Fahrenheit and a good one at 1800 degrees Fahrenheit. The only way to test a silicon carbide igniter is to apply voltage to it and measure the current flow, which should be between 3.2 and 3.6 amps after 30 seconds. 